let's get started with today's video. Um, today we're going to do coloring books and we're going to do it three different ways. Um, the first way we're going to show you how to do coloring books is from like real portraits. I'm going to use, you know, something I'd created previously. Um, but you can use real pictures of real people or animals or whatever, and, uh, turn them into coloring books. So the first one I've got here is a, uh, just a, a, you know, creepy alien xenomorph that I made and we're going to turn him into a coloring book. So the first thing we're going to want to do is over on our styles, we're going to select V2 sharp and then MK coloring book, pencil sketch drawing, marker drawing, and then we're going to check both comic books. Now I'm going to drop my picture that I want down here into the image prompt. And on the left side, we're going to go with face swap. On the right side, we're going with Pirate Canny. And I'm leaving all settings on default. There's nothing special about any of this, so it makes it really, really easy. And we're going to go ahead and generate that one time here. Now you can see after our first generation, we've got a pretty good line drawing here and this might be good enough for you, but we want to refine it into, you know, a less complicated line drawing to make it more for coloring books. So we're going to drop that image down into both slots and we're going to generate again. So now we've got ourselves a really good line drawing and this right here would definitely be, you know, adult coloring book. This is obviously not for children. So we're going to do, uh, oh, from a real picture, we're going to do children's coloring book this time. We're going to get ourselves um, a nice cute picture of some dogs and we're going to turn that into a coloring book. And we're going to do this the exact same way with the same settings. We are going to change the prompt and we're going to take the word xenomorph out and put uh, cute dogs in that spot. But we want to leave coloring book and line drawing in our prompt. So uh, over on our settings, you might have to, based on the size of the picture you're putting in, you might have to change your dimensions over here in the uh, aspect ratio section. So let's run that and see what we get. So you can see we got ourselves um, a cute picture. It's black and white. Um, it's a nice line drawing. Um, but... It failed a little bit on the background, left it kind of realistic looking. So that's a pretty simple fix. We just drag that back down into both both of the boxes down here at the bottom where we're going to run it again. Now, I think that's a lot better, but there's still a little bit of gray in it back there. If you wanted to refine it one more time for me, this is fine. I think this is a good coloring book image. But we went ahead and ran it one more time just to see how much. And you can see that it now has taken out most of the gray. There's a little bit left on the left side here. No big deal. But what we end up with is a really good uh, image that uh, any kid would like to color. So we're going to now move on and show you if your kids have favorite cartoon characters or anything. Um, you can find any cartoon drawing on the internet or even cartoons you draw yourself. And we're going to do that, but we need to make a few little changes in the uh, styles section here. So we're going to bring Winnie the Pooh in down here. And we're going to change that, you know, we're going to change that. And we'll just put Pooh in there. So you can see I keep getting results that are still in color. So if that's happening, sometimes that can be fixed by simply just running it. Uh, again and again until it eliminates the color or you may have to go up and change a couple of the settings in the styles section so once you can see it's adding stuff in that doesn't belong so in the style section i'm going to uncheck both of the comic book um tags there and this will this will change how the ai is looking at it and it won't try to put it into a comic book setting remember ai is not perfect by any means so if you're still not getting what you want, just rerun it a couple of times and you will get, you know, eventually after running it a few times, you're going to get the image you're looking for. So now you can see that we ran it this time and we're getting nothing but a black and white 
uh, cartoon drawing here, which this is, you know, perfect for coloring. You can take this image and, and print it out and make your own coloring book. So the last technique we're going to work on is taking an actual scenery. And when you do scenery, these will have, you know, lots of lines in them and it kind of puts it in that adult coloring book area. Um, you know, you'll have a lot of tiny little details to color in, but adult co uh, coloring books are really popular right now. They have been for the last few years. So for the moment, we're going to leave both comic book tabs selected here, along with the other tabs that we had chosen. But when we leave the comic book selected, what we tend to get is something that is just almost overwhelming with the amount of uh, lines that are in it because it's trying to convert you know, a real life image into a black and white drawing. And it just gets overwhelmed because it's trying to, you know, get every last little detail. So this might be perfect for you if you like something that really takes a lot of work. Um, but what we'll find out here is if we uncheck the two comic book tabs on this one as well, we will get more of a, uh, um, more of a coloring book look to it and not quite as much detail still though, it'll be packed with detail. So there you have it. You can turn most anything into a coloring book. Um, and if you combine some of our older videos with this, where we show you how to take your own drawings and turn them into an image, you can then take that image and turn it into a coloring book. So there's tons of things you can do, and there's tons of ways to do this to make it your own. So anyway, if you like this video, leave us a like and subscribe. And if there's an easier or better way to do it, drop us a comment and let us know. All right, see you in the next one.